Have you ever felt tired, foggy, or low on energy and thought, is this just getting older? What if I told you there's a natural molecule inside your body? One that powers every heartbeat, every brain signal, every breath, and you start losing it as early as your 30s. It's called coenzyme Q10 or CoQ10. And today we are diving into whether it is a missing piece in your heart health or just another overhyped supplement. Hello, this is Dr. Noni, board certified internal medicine physician and your guide here at Dr. Noni's Power Lab, when, where we crush health myth with real science. Let's get into it. CoQ10 is a vitamin-like compound your body naturally produces. It is found in almost every single cell but especially in your active cells, like in your heart, brain, muscles, and liver, only because these organs need a ton of energy. CoQ10's main job is helping your mitochondria, the powerhouse of your cells, to produce ATP, your body's energy currency. It also acts as a powerful antioxidant, protecting your cells from damage caused by oxidative stress and inflammation. Here's an analogy for CoQ10. Think of it like a spark plug and oil filter rolled into one. It powers your cells and protects them at the same time. And as you age or if you get sick, your CoQ10 levels naturally drop. Now here's where it ties into your heart. Your heart is the most energy demanding organ in your body. It beats over 100,000 times a day and it needs a lot of CoQ10 to keep going. Research shows that people with heart failure, high blood pressure and atherosclerosis often have low levels of CoQ10 in their tissues. It's not clear if low Q10 causes heart disease or is a result of it. But either way, the connection is strong. So when heart cells don't get enough energy, symptoms like fatigue, shortness of breath, and poor cardiac output can follow. That's why researchers and doctors have been looking closely at CoQ10, especially in people with cardiovascular disease. If you are on statin, this part is for you. Statins are amazing medications. They lower LDL cholesterol and reduce heart attacks and strokes. But there is a catch. Statins also block the same bio biomechanical, a biochemical pathway your body uses to make CoQ10. So when they lower cholesterol, they may also lower your body's CoQ10 levels which could lead to side effects like muscle aches, weakness, fatigue, brain fog. That's why some providers, including myself, sometimes recommend CoQ10 supplements along statins, especially if you are experiencing those symptoms. Now, what is the typical dose for CoQ10? It's between 100 to 200 milligram daily. What about the form? Ubiquinol is more absorbable than ubiquinone. Always talk to your doctor before adding supplements. But if you are in statin and feeling drained, CoQ10 might help. Let's get into the evidence. A 2013 meta-analysis in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition reviewed 12 clinical trials and found that CoQ10 significantly lowered blood pressure, especially in patients with hypertension. In people with heart failure, CoQ10 has been shown to improve exercise capacity, improve quality of life, and reduce hospitalization. There is a well-known study called QSymbio study. One of the biggest showed that patients taking CoQ10 had 43% fewer major cardiovascular events and 42% fewer cardiac death compared to placebo. 
Other small studies support benefits in reducing muscle pain from statins and improving recovery after heart surgery. But not every study agrees. Some showed minimal effects. That's why it, did, it hasn't become a mainstream guideline recommendation. But many cardiologists and internists, myself included, find it useful in selective patients. So let's get practical. Should you be taking CoQ10? You might benefit from it if you have heart failure or you are on statin and have fatigue or muscle pain or you have high blood pressure or you get frequent migraines. Yes, CoQ10 help there too. And lastly, you are over age 50 and want to support heart energy. What about you might not need it? If you are healthy, active and under 40, you are not on statins or you eat a high quality nutrient dense diet. What are the natural sources of CoQ10? You would need a ton of beef, heart, liver, sardine and spinach to get the same dose found in supplements. And again, this doesn't replace medications. It supports your body alongside the bigger picture. So here's my take doctor to patient. CoQ10 is not a miracle pill, but it's not a snake oil either. It's naturally made compound. Your body relies on for energy and protection. If you're dealing with fatigue, heart issues, or statin side effects, it may be worth discussing with your doctor. But remember, no supplement replaces lifestyle. Your heart still needs real food, daily movement, stress control, good sleep, and regular checkups. If this video helped you, do me a favor, hit that like button, subscribe, and share this with someone who is taking care of their heart. And tell me in the comments below, have you ever tried CoQ10? Did it make a difference for you and your health? This is Dr. Noni from Dr. Noni's Power Lab, where we crush health myths with real science. Stay powerful, stay curious, and stay heart strong. Thank you.